Greetings and welcome to Passion and Profit COVID-19 CARES Act 2020 Episode Season 2 on local, state, federal, and global news updates, resources, and tips that you need to know and how you need to act. This is your host, Teresa W. Gamble, the CEO of CRPC Consulting and ENT Gamble Enterprises, where we are an award-winning administrative management consulting firm where we help you to create and repair your systems and processes for multiple retainable sustainable revenue streams. Today I would like to speak with you and share with you regarding the initiative that Magic Johnson who's offering a hundred million dollars in loans to minority owned business women that have been left out of the PPP SBA loans. This was published on Tuesday May 19, 2020 on the um, cnbc.com According to Magic Johnson, he is in collaboration with MBE Capital Partners to offer $1 million in loans to minority and women-owned companies hurt by a stay-at-home order due to COVID-19. The loans was funded through Johnson's Equity Trust Life Insurance Company and will be provided the Small Business Administration Paycheck Protection Program. This will allow them to keep employees and keep their doors open, according to Magic Johnson told CNBC. Squawk Box on Tuesday. Congress has set aside $3.5 billion for PPP funds in April and as part of the $2 trillion stimulus package, but the money depleted quickly, forcing another round of aid. New funds included $60 billion set aside for small businesses. But even with the new money available, African Americans and Latino-owned businesses have been left out of the PPP funds due to the lack of relationship with bigger banks. Democratic lawmakers, including Senator Kamala Harris of California, has even called on the SBA and the Treasury Department to ensure minority-owned businesses are not shot out of the aid. But with financial help is limited, some businesses are in jeopardy of closing for good. According to Johnson, he says, we have to remember that these businesses have been in urban communities for a long time. They have been doing great things and they probably didn't have relationships with banks when the stimulus package went out. So now we're able to say, hey, you can have a relationship with us. Financially, this has really hurt our community as well as health wise in hurting our community too, according to Magic Johnson. Rafael Martinez, the CEO of MBE, said the funds will look to help 100,000 businesses in urban communities. Applicants are vetted using the SBA guidelines. Martinez said the application process is now simplified, making it easier to qualify for these loans. He states that there is a ton of money left, and adding the next stage to grow to work with the depository banks is essential. Jenny Buss is a very good owner and she's smart, so she's glad that she returned the money because there's a lot of companies out there who really needed it. And she said, according to Magic Johnson, he said, we needed it. We thrive on our sports. That's how we escape our everyday life is to indulge ourselves in sports. So we need sports to come back, especially if we're going to continue to stay home. So Magic Johnson has partnered up again with this capital company, MBE Capital Partners. The CEO is Rafael Martinez. And to go to their website to apply for the $100 million in loans for minority-owned businesses, especially women. But in doing so, you need to make sure you have your designations and certifications with the federal government because the federal government has set aside at least 37% of government contracts specifically for women and minority-owned women. So if you want to learn more about that information, you can reach out and contact me for a 15-minute discovery call at www.crpcconsultantllc.com. This has been your host, Teresa W. Gamble, the founder and CEO of CRPC Consultant and ENT Gamble Enterprises, where we are an award-winning administrative management consulting firm. Well, we're providing you with COVID-19 CARES Act 2020 updates on the local, state, federal, and global level. So you need to get the information that you need to know and how to act accordingly. Please subscribe to our podcast, share our podcast so we can all stay in the know. And remember to stay home, stay safe, socially distance, and stay protected. This is your host, and we'll see you on the next episode. Thank you for listening.